Someday, young boy. Because if you do, you're exactly where you belong. You're freaking crazy. Sanders Aviation Airplane, isn't it? Where's Frank Saunders? Hey, kill that engine! Where's Frank Saunders?
So we start lobbing mortars over the border from Kuwait into Iraq. <laughs> we started the whole Iraqi move into Kuwait, met me and six other guys. No such opt ever occurred. I was at the agency mission in Tel Aviv, and we would have known. Yeah, well, need to know, Dipwad. You didn't have a need. <laughs> Walk you by this crap. Going through the island trepidation. Don't know, fellas. Never stationed in that part of the world. Yeah, where were you stationed? Parker Frank B, serial number 923-880305. Parker the Boy Scout. <laughs> Took an oath, fellas. Don't keep it for them, keep it for me. Every day. Same freaking thing. Reads a letter, puts his face right in his food. What's in that letter? Who's it from? It's a good question. Paper's blank. <laughs> You got sunshine. It's all good. Suckers are flooding in the water, you know. Whenever you guys got the guts, Planet of the Apes. They'll put us in isolation to the end of the century. Isn't a little meditative time good for this whole yard bar? All right, screw it. I'm in. Planet of the Apes. Anybody else? I think I I think I think I think Morning, boys. Morning, sunshine. And and deliver. at the time of the bombing, attending a scheduled summit meeting with Russian head of state Rudolf Nuritsnikov. We'll now join Kerry Pfeffer, awaiting presidential news secretary Dalton Phillips. Kerry, are you there? I'm here, Lena, and right now details are sketchy at best. As of yet, there's been no new comment on the conditions of anyone so injured. So what? I can tell you that... Who cares? The White House we gave this country everything we had. What we get in return? This... Ladies and gentlemen, we regret to inform you that the President and Vice President of the United States are dead from wounds received in an explosion occurring at 7.53 Eastern Standard Time this morning at the White House. We'll be boarding Air Force One immediately, Mr. Speaker. Why don't we go to the Pentagon? Uh, we're not sure what's going on yet, sir. For all we know, Washington could be under siege. Good Lord. several block radius of the blast speaker of the house too militia group it's been a lot of activity down there lately no 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 it's a foreign source it's got to be sons of saddam is my bet yes we have it an amateur videotape of the white house tragedy is it up hell okay here it is that's the individual who made the tape a tourist one stephen a potter of freehold new jersey 
And those are the missiles we told you about earlier, the ones fired from the White House roof. They miss entirely. You're cutting the head off our government. What a terrible shame. This picture tells the awful story. We've it got to deploy and we have to do it right now. We have no choice. Bad day for people everywhere. We have just Unfortunately, it's not up to us. It's up to them. We'll bring you more information as we proceed. We have to present our case calmly and clearly. They'll be emotional to try to push us. Dr. Mintner, I need your team's assistance. Military intelligence groups in full motion. Correlating data from Langley, the FBI, the Secret Service, and the D.C. Police. We'll be cross-referencing right up until the moment we go. And the scientific group. Sir, uh, this comes at a bad time for us. We're in the middle of modifications, and uh, the device isn't ready. And more than that, no one's been trained to operate the new systems. They haven't even been tested. New candidates for the job are being chosen as we speak. Each will be a quick study and expendable. Get the hardware ready. What's wrong with you people? Don't you get it? Our national leadership's been wiped out. Human events don't change scientific fact, Mr. Ramsey. Nor does human emotion. We're not ready. Mr. Talmadge, this woman is a defector. No allegiance to anyone or anything. She shouldn't even be allowed in this room. Enough, Ramsey. Stop it. Sir, with each failure, we lose more of the element needed to fuel the reactor. So if we fail again, we may not have enough left for another attempt. Numbers give me numerical odds for success or failure at this time. Well, the odds for success are very low, five, seven percent at best. The final decision as to whether or not we go will be made at the highest levels of the National Security Agency, but they will have that option. Are we clear? He has a nearly photographic memory. Extensive background in black ops all over the globe. How crazy is he? <sighs> crazy is a word I have difficulty with. Well, let's cut the shrink wrap, doctor. The man asked you how nuts he is. Not as nuts as most of the men here. He had a breakdown in Somalia, tortured by a group of technicals there. What did they do to him? Put him in a metal box in the sun for a week. No food or water until he'd given them the names of locals working for the agency. <laughs> how long before he folded? He didn't. Maybe he couldn't. He didn't even know his own name when they finally rescued him. Pain threshold pretty high, then. That room got a 220 outlet. Your name kicked out of our computer, Mr. Parker. Turns out you may be well suited to a special agency operation. Am I now? We're here to test you. If you meet our criteria, you'll leave this island today. But I thought I was crazy. Are you? Not crazy enough to get involved in an operation you want a crazy man for. Wait. Give me a freaking test. that a school located near the White House was also enshrouded in poison gas. Oh, my a number God. Of children are dead. The name of that school is being withheld until authorities can contact the families of the victims. There's no answer at Jimmy's school, and I was just about to leave for his Easter pageant. Oh, with you. ...are in the area removing bodies at this time. We do know that a temporary morgue has been set up at St. Michael's Catholic Church, located on Constitution Avenue. Oh my 
my god! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god, my baby! You can't touch these bodies, man. I'm contaminated. You'll have to shower me. Uh... <laughs> what, some kind of new polygraph? Something like that. Actually, the questions are a lot more like an IQ test. Start when I tell you. Don't stop till the buzzer sounds. Well, they just gave me an IQ test the other day. Uh, you guys think I've gotten smarter since then? These scores will be different, Mr. Parker. I promise you. Begin. And my head I'd be scratching While my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. Keep working. I just got a shock. I think there must be a short with your equipment. You're wasting valuable time, Mr. Parker. Hmm. All right, that's it. Get this stuff off me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Mr. Parker, if you don't finish this test, we'll be leaving here without you. Kick your ass when this is over and done with you know that, don't you? Go ahead then, give me all you got. Excuse now? He actually scored higher than he did under normal conditions. But there's something else you should know. Talk to me. He's a jerk, sir. A real problem personality. This is not a popularity test. Travel him. What's our total? Five men are now flying. Apprise me the moment they arrive. Yeah. Snake pit. 
Thanks very much. Thanks for all your help, fellas. Yeah, right. Three hours west by southwest, so uh, where does that put us? Colorado, New Mex, maybe? Tell you, brats, aren't you? You maybe got a stewardess back there? I could use a drink. Just ahead. Where are we landing? It's kind of dark out there. Guys, what's with the altimeter? It says we're 300 feet below sea level. Never Never Land. Good luck to you, cowboy. <laughs> Gotta have something to do with the assassinations. You guys agency? Nope. I'm Air Force. Now, Jose there, he's Army Berets. And there's Benny, he's an engineer with NASA. And old Jack here, he's the enemy. Navy fighter jock. They give you their shock test? We can rule out number five. They pulled him out of an agency mental institution. I'm more concerned about candidate four. He has a cold. We can't risk that. Number four out. Number one's blood pressure reading was high. His records don't indicate a problem, but you never know. And what about number five? Strike number one. Leaving three. <sighs> Physical exams, then the simulator. Like this. BP's normal. Straight ahead. Keep walking. Headline, please. LPEDPEZ, along CFTD. Other eye. Parker. Yeah, PTOC.
Can we set this? Poor man folded under the pressure. I'll do better for you. Will you? Sir? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I beat him, didn't I? <sighs> you may have won, but she likes me better. Although Parker's ability with the needles wasn't as good, his mental acuity while enduring pain is truly quite amazing. <laughs> That's because he doesn't feel any pain. He's out of his mind. Your choice would be Navy. You bet. That's the right stuff. You yourself said flying the needles was critical. Yes, but only in the simulator are the controls like those of an airplane. It might have given the pilot an advantage he won't have in reality. Doctor? Oh, I like Parker's pain threshold. That could be a critical factor. But Ramsey's right. His mental stability is questionable. He's stable. I bet my life on it. I have been my life on it. We were in Honduras. A mission... classified. I won't bore you. Frank Parker saved my life. If you have any faith in my judgment, trust something. When the whip comes down, Parker's gonna be there for you. Donovan? He's a drunk! He's a gambler! He's had problems with authority all his life. Hell, he's got criminal eyes. He's not the man we need for this mission. If this gets real, he won't let you down. Show of hands. Those for Reardon, the Navy pilot? Parker, Frank B. We are making a major mistake. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. Video enhanced extreme blowouts of the footage taken by vacation God has his reasons. <laughs> The third missile nearly hits the incoming aircraft, missing only by a few feet. The question everyone's asking, who was the pilot of this plane? You're about to be let in on the most highly classified data America holds. Think I can keep a secret? As you know, the president and vice president, others, were slain two days ago. We're going to undo that event. We're going to undo it. Mr. Parker, highly experimental technology has been developed involving the distortion of time. We have a device that can allow us to send one human being back in time, seven days. A time machine? I love it. You're the man we've chosen to make the back step. When you arrive in the past, your job will be to brief us on the events about to happen so they can be prevented. You know what I think? I think this is a typical CIA mind game of some kind. It's a test to see if Frank Parker is well enough to be released from that hospital. Well, guess what, boys and girls? I passed your test. I'm fine, if you'll excuse me. Donovan? Yeah, Frank. 
Let's take a walk. I told him you'd have to see it. See what? Keep your eyes ahead. Keep walking. Place hand on screen. Eyes front, son. Those boys are their elite. They just as soon shoot you as look at you. This for real, Frank. Crashed here in 1947, Roswell, New Mexico. That saucer is where the technology for this came from. What the hell is going on here, Donovan? That saucer came a long way from here, Frank. A million light years. A billion? They don't get here in a straight line. They get here by distorting space. And with it, time. We can't travel quite like that yet, but we have kind of half-figured the time distortion aspect. Flying saucers, time machines, you kidding me, right? See, the time device is powered by a reactor. But instead of heat, it generates its own little gravity field in that field. Time can be played with. Distorted. You're saying it actually works. So far, the results have been less than spectacular. But they do think it's going back in time, though. See, the trouble is, it doesn't always show up where it should. When it gets there, it ends up way out in space or buried deep in the ground. It moves. No, but we are. We're orbiting the sun. See, that's, that's what that flying the needle stuff is all about. It simulates a new system. It's kind of a fine-tuning knob to make sure the thing shows up in the same place it left from. Donovan, remember when I saved your life in Honduras? Yeah. You kind of owe me one, right? <laughs> yeah. Good, because I need a drink. I haven't slept in two and a half days, Donovan. Yeah, none of us have. Where the hell are we going? Get your tattoo. Hello, Mr. Parker. Hi, I'm John Ballard. Hi. I have front math around here. Come on in. Have a seat. Please roll up your sleeve. I've been in every foreign capital on the globe, drunk. And I've never gotten one of those things. As you can see, it's like a barcode to identify you when you arrive back in time, because we... We won't have met you yet, of course. <laughs> I can introduce myself just fine. Thank you very much. Hello. Hi. What's going on? Just getting my official team tattoo. Good. Well, there's a meeting going on in another room you should be privy to. Data you must memorize so you can brief us when you arrive in the past. In a nutshell, the explosive was of a C4-type composition with oxygen plasma accelerants. It was laced with cyanide, causing the poisoning in the 10-block radius. Ah! No, yeah. Hurt, huh? Origin. Yeah, the ink is quite unique. It's, it's radioactive. Suddenly, I'm Tommy Lee. Does it hurt? This? No. Please. Memorize for us. In Chechnya has been tracking this particularly hardcore Marxist dissident group. They hate America. They hated President Naritsnikov for getting friendly with us. These six men we've identified. Good morning. Good morning, Doctor. Pull your coverall off your shoulder, please. Why? I have to put a subcutaneous implant under your arm. So, you gonna cut me? It's a small programmable chip. It's just a tiny incision. Maybe you can give me a nipple ring while you're at it. This is Carl Fredsnev. Male, approximately 40 years of age. He's the leader of this cadre. He's ex-KGB, then Spetsnaz, attained the rank of major. Spent three years in a Moscow prison for political agitation. Escaped a year ago and made his way back to his native Chechnya. So, the Fredsnev group looks good people. We've appraised Russian intelligence, and they'll be working the case from that end. They lost a president, too, after all. 
see the horse-drawn caisson it contains the president's body silence is all that can now be heard throughout the crowd heads bowed in respect as the nation says a final goodbye to their fallen leader talmage yes sir washington they say to hell with the odds we're a go tell people How's it going? There's a hell of a lot of stuff here, Donovan. Well, it's not going to waste. You are time traveling, my friend. Want to get some air? Send a check every month. You talk to your ex? Oh, yeah, yeah. I spent the last couple of years locked up in a CIA nut house, and they let me call out whenever I want, Donovan. No, I, uh, heard she's dating. What I miss is not raising my son. Spy trade can be kind of hard on family life. You know, personally, if I had to do it over again, I think I'd choose another line. You know, think of all the fun we had. <laughs> Maybe too much fun, my friend. Mmm. Bowman. Is there any chance this thing could actually work? I 
never lied to you before, Frank. Do me a favor. Look up my son for me and tell him some lies about how cool his old man was.